The businessman Mike Ashley has been running Sports Direct like a Victorian workhouse. That's the conclusion of MPs on the Business, Innovation and Skills Committee. They said he must be held accountable for appalling working conditions and practices. Mike Ashley said this to the committee when he gave evidence to them in June. I'm not Father Christmas. I'm not sitting there at a whole, I'm going to make the world wonderful. You just have to try and get a balanced view and say, as an individual, would you tolerate that? Is that fair? And if I honestly believe it isn't, I change it. Well, Ian Wright is chair of the Business, Innovation and Skills Committee and is here. Good morning to you. Good morning. What was it particularly that you found that you thought this is like a Victorian workhouse? I can't single one thing out. There was a range of different things that showed the culture and the practices for employees at Sports Direct. So not being paid the legal minimum wage, um, being named and shamed over the tannoy in front of the entire warehouse, um, not being able to take time off when your child is sick and off school, um, having a six strikes and you're out policy so that if you do something that you can't appeal against, whether it's going for a glass of water off shift or whether it's taking too long to go to the toilet, um, women being told you can have a permanent contract in exchange for sexual favours. I mean, these are disgraceful practices that we heard. We were shocked and disgusted. Now, Mike Ashley said that uh, when he found out about some of the things that were going on at the Shirebrook Distribution Centre, it was an unpleasant surprise. Did you find that a credible response, that he didn't know what was going on? No, we didn't. We found that quite an incredible response. Uh, Mike Ashley founded the company it's made in his image um, and he's very hands-on you know he has a, a desk in the warehouse and goes there at least once a week we can't believe that he wasn't aware of the practices that were going on but having said that where we do accept his evidence um, and we thought that he was very strong on this is the company's grown far too big for him to handle it's still being run as a, almost like a sole trader operation a one-man band with Mike Ashley fully in charge. That's not acceptable for such a large, complex and listed company. And so we think there should be an independent corporate governance review to make sure that the next phase of Sports Direct's life actually has the governance arrangements in place. But it's one thing to say, look, he was just running it bad or managing it badly. It's quite another to say, look, the scale of these things that you're saying and say he should be held accountable. And what do you mean by that? It's his business. He's the majority shareholder. As I said, it's run um, very much and formed in his image. Um, he what must does be must be held accountable mean? Does it mean just, you know, you must be held accountable and you must change your you, you, the, the management structure? Or does it mean you, that there should be some possibly criminal action that follows? He sets the culture. He sets the practices. It's important that he's held accountable with regards to that. That means that, you know, HMRC are currently conducting an investigation. Now, it will be up to HMRC whether they it take into account uh, prosecutions or, or what have you. But it's really important that, you know, the book stops with Mike Ashley and he should be held accountable but for those cultures and practices. But does that, are you calling for further investigations than, than, than already exist? Um, HMRC are conducting that investigation. Mm -hmm. We think that's acceptable and appropriate. It's up to them to decide what they want but to that's do. But to that's to do with tax that's and, do with, and pay. That's to do with uh, the central charge, which is um, Sports Direct was not paying the legal minimum wage, and that's important. Now, in terms of other things, we'll keep a close eye on it, and we will hold Mike Ashley's feet to the fire. We want to basically see this, which is improvements in work, in practices, in Sports Direct. And can he run the business? Um, I think the next phase means a better chair, um, independent non-exec directors to the caliber um, obviously it's his business um, but it needs to really have the next phase in an appropriate governance arrangement. Ian Wright thanks very much.